welcome back rollers today's video is unfortunately i broke my shop my craft room rule yes guys crafting family i went to hobby lobby and i just went on a shopping spree and i am going to blame it on one of my youtube buddies and I told her I was going to blame it on her. Her name is Rachel. Her channel is Daily or I think it's Daily or it could be pronounced Dally Creations. Check her channel out. Her channel is fantastic. If you like my content, you will like her content as well. I told her she was an enabler. So take a look and you're going to see why I say that. Again, I broke my little shop my craft room i've been doing so good in 2023 and i uh, but it's okay we got some good things so let's go ahead and do this haul and you will see what we've got okay so one of the things that i found were these Kohl's transfer stickers and i guess you put them on your libby mugs from my take on them and i don't know if they change colors i doubt they do but don't they look fantastic? I will put up a B-roll so I can show you all the other type of stickers that they that they came up with. These were only $2.50. Now, they weren't on sale that I can remember, but it comes with seven stickers. Look at these. Oh my gosh, you can't even see what I'm showing you. But aren't these... Let me zoom out so that you can see a little bit better. But aren't these absolutely adorable? These are just these stickers. And then they came with this full wrap version. I thought this one would be perfect for Valentine's Day if you wanted to do a wrap. And then they had this other one with the hearts. So these two would absolutely work for Valentine's Day, both of these. And so the way the Libby mugs work this is the original Libby mugs, if you're new to the mugs. I'm just going to take it out this bubble wrap. I kept mine in it. So this is the Libby's. And what happens is it does come with a wood top and then the glass straws. I have hid my tops so well. I have no idea where they're at, so I do have to find them. But... I will show you my straws because I did hide my straws as well, but fortunately I did find them. So this is one of the straws that you can buy. And let me open this up so you guys can take a look. I just thought it'd be a good idea to show you what they would look like. So this is the packaging. Hopefully that you guys can see. So I bought this in a 10 pack. So it has the straight straws and then the curved straws. Just like so. So we're gonna put this back. And I'm gonna probably not hide them where I've been keeping them. And then they also have, one of my friends had bought these for another project and she gave me the extra. So they have them also without the bamboo top and it looks more like a soda can, right? So this is another option. And then it comes with different color tops as well and then i found some other ones which i will not show you guys because i do want to uh, -oh, uh show that later on when i do decide well maybe i can so i'm trying to decide if i want to use these black and white ones in these version of the libby now this did not come from hot Lobby. i'm just showing you these as extra but are these pretty like an ombre okay so that's not part of the Hobby Lobby haul but I wanted to show you guys in case you're not familiar with how the Libby glass mugs look so now you have a very good idea Let's put all that up so I'll probably craft with these not today because I don't know if I really want to do a mug but my plan today was to do another project so we'll see how that works for us today all right so i'm gonna put these to the side put this over here move this all over out of our way and then one of the other things that i found was this little 
I guess it's a tote bag. What do they call it? It's a little pouch. So my daughter found this. And what she decided was we would be redoing her emergency bag. Now, my daughter is in the sixth grade. She's my oldest kiddo. Well, my middle child, I should say. And we've had an emergency bag since last year. But we, she has not been doing very well keeping it in her bag this year so we were going to she decided to redo it and this is the bag that she picked out I honestly would have picked out the blue one I thought that one was prettier they have different sizes they have a really big one they have a square one that has a clear cover on it but and she wanted that one the funny thing is I was like why would you want your emergency bag to be clear where everybody can see what it is now if you guys aren't familiar with emergency bags just take a google on it and it's all supposed to have basically essential items like i don't know band-aids and things of that nature you guys all the feminine stuff that's supposed to go in it so that's one of the other things that we are going to work on and this is something that i'm going to work on in today's video that's one thing and we found this iron-on sticker which i thought was gorgeous we were going to put in on this bag one that said stuff but unfortunately it was too big for this one so she went with this one i think it's gonna look really pretty it's pink on pink so we got this one and then she went with this iron on sticker it feels very real pearlish because it is very bumpy which i'm kind of i don't know skeptic about it because i'm like will it burn i don't know but we'll see how that works because it does say iron on so there it is right there so let's see how this works so this will go on here along with this one so this is one project we'll definitely be working on today i don't know how we're gonna put this on here but hey we'll, we'll figure it out guys okay so then we found this other one now this one we found this was actually in the front of the store with the Valentine's Day stuff. So I bought two of them because I'm going to make them some t-shirts. And But when I looked in the store, I couldn't find a t-shirt that I really liked. So, of course, I knew what I wanted to do for it. Now, if you don't find it with Valentine's Day shirts, they'll actually be in the other aisle with the rest of the iron-on patches. So just keep an eye out for them. Um, so let's put this one aside as well. And then, so here's the t-shirt. I actually ended up going to, what is it called? Target. And that's why I found this, uh, what is this called? It's actually a crop top. It's more what it is. So I got one for my middle schooler and my other daughter is just turned nine last month. And we got her one. And so this should go on here. And there'll be Valentine's Day. So this video is going to be a Valentine's Day video as much as a haul. All right. So I've got this and this. And then I've got some more stuff. Okay. Because there, I bought myself, if you watched my previous video, the Cricut Joy Extra. So I was fortunate enough to when i didn't know hobby lobby would have the joy extra stuff so when i went in there i was like oh they do now i did pick up a few of their smart iron-on stuff so i got these two i should say just the smart anything so i picked up these two iron-ons only because i missed the sale guys when i was on cricket.com <sighs> I was like, I'm going to order these things. They had a ridiculous sale. It was so, so cheap. Their smart material was literally like three and some change or four and some change. I want to say 50% off. And what did I do? I didn't order it. And when I went back, it was Sunday. And I was like, uh, bro, how could you? Like, uh. Anyway, so I went, when we was at Hobby Lobby, I was like, well, I might as well get it because this color had been calling my name the whole time. But I think it's still cheaper on Cricut.com, so probably don't want to order, um, buy it at Hobby Lobby. 
just FYI. So go ahead and take a look at this one. I absolutely love these neon colors. I have no idea why. So I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with this. Seriously, I'm probably going to wait to use it during the spring, summer, which is right around the corner. So you've got neon pink. Actually, let's open this up so that you guys can actually see in case you are interested in buying it yourself, right? Because what's the point if you can't see, right? So these fluorescent. Ooh, sorry about that. That is squeaky. Wow, that is bright. But isn't it pretty? Look at that yellow. Ooh, that is a yellow. You put on something and they will find you anywhere you are. You cannot lose anybody with this neon yellow. And then there's the orange. <laughs> is that Home Depot yet? Orange? Almost, right? And then this is a really pretty pink. Okay, so we're gonna put this one back. And then let's look at the other boxes. Now, if you've looked at my videos, you'll know that I don't normally keep these in these boxes. So I just rubber band them on and keep it rolling. Okay, so let's see. Now, I do have some videos coming up about projects for the Joy Extra that I'm going to get ready to film. But if there's anything specific that you guys want me to make, let me know in the comments. And I will be more than happy to see what I can do. Okay, so this is... What are these called? So these are called Cobalt, Dahlia, and Translucent Blue. Okay, so we've got this one. I'm guessing it's in order that's in here. So this would be the Cobalt, the Dahlia, and the Translucent Blue. These are extremely pretty. Okay. Put these back I figure out what I can make what I'm gonna make with this one and this is just regular vinyl but let's open this up and see what this one looks like oh, wait is that not taped on yes it is I was like no it's actually not hmm, that's interesting okay let's see what is this one this one's just aqua party pink and purple so your standard colors so that's that so in case you're curious about those that's what those are all right so that's these and then so like i was saying all cricut joy extra of course you know you don't have to have these smart materials to use your cricut joy extra i do have a video at the time of filming this one that should already be out there for you guys to go ahead and watch okay so i'm putting this aside actually let's put it on my other side okay so then i also found let's bring these three items out some four or five items now i don't always buy four or five or hobby lobby brand material but a while back i had bought some matless regular adhesive vinyl and I was it regular yes it was because I made a sign for when I'm recording that I use that vinyl for and I absolutely love 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 the way it cut and to be honest with you I thought it worked much better than this brand we're not going to talk negative about it because it is what it is but I feel like this one worked so much better it weeded like a dream a dream so if you have not tried the 405 matless vinyl you guys really need to give it a try and i think it might be cheaper let me see i'm gonna pull it out it is here it is right here it's only 449 and I'm not sure what the cost for the one that shall not be named Madness Vinyl costs for this roll. 
for the same size roll because I don't have one that's not in uh that's in a box because I always take mine out of the box but this one's cheaper it's the same size roll so and it's even cheaper than let's say we take out tech wrap that has the same vinyl it's even cheaper than this one but I promise you guys this thing weeded beautifully beautifully so give that one a try it's only four dollars and now this one is the same price as what this one this one costs the same and this one is bigger and here's a hack that i did on my cricut joy extra video if you guys have not seen it you can buy this one and cut it at 13 inches. You can cut this one down to 9.5 inches wide and put it in your Cricut Joy machine. And you'll have the same thing. So just an FYI tip that I'm giving you for free. Just an FYI. And you'll, you'll see what I mean, because I did it on another video. All right, so I bought these two because I wanted to try the iron-on because, like I said, I already have it in adhesive vinyl, so I had to give it a try. Now, if you guys want me to open this one, I can because I love red and navy, especially I think they look absolutely gorgeous together. And red is my favorite color, and I noticed that I don't use them as often, but I have a lot of white and a ton of black. If you guys have not watched my craft room tour video, I will try to link that somewhere, either in the description or in the right corner. I don't know where. And so that you can take a look at that video and so you can see how I store my vinyls. But here it is. Here's the red. And that is a pretty red. That is what I call that cherry gorgeous red. There you go, and then here's the navy. Oh, I don't see that much. I wouldn't necessarily call this much, this as a navy. This is a little brighter than I would call a navy. Well, on camera, it looks like a navy. But to me, in person, I don't know it doesn't look navy ish it looks a little brighter i don't know so once i cut it and do something with it i'll have to see it's a little brighter to me for a navy but i'm not disappointed because it is so we will figure out what to do with this again i'm not gonna work with any of these today and then I had to try this low temp iron on because I've seen a couple people try these and I wanted to try this on my big heat press on one of the two. Either try it on Jack or Janet because it says you just need to do it on, what is it, 265 for five seconds. So, of course, I wanted to give it a try and I picked it in my one of my next besides these two colors this is my next favorite color so and you can see what i loved about these is that it gives you a window so you can exactly see what color you are working with so i love this layout and of course it's made in germany i love germany okay yes 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 absolutely love germany and i think a lot of things that they make are great and fantastic okay so let's go ahead and take a breather and let's figure out which product we're going to work first. I think I'm going to do the little pouch first because my daughter was going to take it to school this morning. And I told her, well, no, I need it because I need to make the video before you just, you know, take it from me. Like, really? Can I do this first? All right. So I need to figure out what I'm going to put in here. I think let's get a pressing pillow. Stuff the pressing pillow in here. And we'll get started. All right, so I pulled out my pressing pillow. And then, or maybe I could use my 
Cricut mat instead. Let's see which one works better. And then I've got my mat, my other mat. And then I've got my Cricut mini. And I think I'm just gonna put it on medium setting, which is the two squiggly line. It's orange, it'll turn green when it's ready to go. Y'all you know, been there. Okay, so I think it just says cover with cloth, press for 10 to 15 seconds, turn inside out. Now I've used similar patches in the past, but mine was from Amazon. Okay, so let's see. And it was um, it was similar to this. I had made a um a jersey shirt. I don't know, my daughter says I call it wrong every time. All right, so let me grab my roller and then I need to grab my this thing. Teflon sheet because that's why I always forget what it's called. And then what I'm going to do is I think yeah, I think this will work better than the press and pull. All right. And you <laughs> you know what's funny is you got I don't think you guys have ever seen me use the Cricut pad and I I think I have two of these. No, I have all three sizes. And I I'll be honest with you, I don't like using them because I find them to be too squishy. So this is why I had my husband make me this pad when I first started because I was like, I need something to push down on because I, when I started, I had the easy, the whatchamacallit, the easy press. And so I don't use these anymore. <laughs> but I see everybody uses these and I'm, I'm like, dang. Maybe it's just me. Why do I not like this thing? But being something that I don't like is what I'm going to use today to make it. See, it's perfect today. Okay, so let's see. I think I like those. Um, now what you wanna do is make sure that you decide which way you want your zipper to go. And I think I want her zipper to go this way. Yep. Okay, so then once we can figure that out, we are going to go ahead and position this exactly. Okay. Just get that going and let's heat press really quickly just to get this uh, moisture in the out, wrinkles, just to get the best thing going on. And then let's let roll really quickly. Just getting lint, debris. You guys know the process. You know how that goes. All that snazzy, dazzy stuff going. Okay. So then, oh, I gotta take this other one out because I want to know. I want to be able to eyeball where I'm going to put both pieces. Now she gave me free will to put both pieces. Peel off the backing paper to reveal adhesive and position iron on right side of one project. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the sticker on for now so that I can decide where we're going to put this, okay? So maybe we can do something like that. And, oh yes, yeah, it's very sticky back there. Because I am one of those people that I don't usually do straight on very often, I am very much an at an angle person. I love angles. And I actually, I love the way that looks. To my eye. What do you guys think? I think that looks stunning. Let's try this way. Mm, no. I think that looks good. Okay, so we are going to go with this look. We're going to put our parchment down. See, this is what I was saying. Now when I push it down, it looks like I'm just pushing it down on nothing. And I'm like, pressure, pressure, pressure. Am I, am I ironing on something? <laughs> I'm like, uh, iron. It's just me. I'm just going to poof. And see, it's not ironing on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, see, Roberta? Okay, guys. See, don't be a clown like me. There's a backing that you have to take off. So learn from me. There's the backing that you do have to take off, guys. And then you gotta put that on. 
like so in there. Now you do it. See? Okay, that makes more sense now. Now, let's iron on. That's why it's an iron on and a sticker. Well, well, it does make more sense. I'm applying as much pressure as humanly possible, but again, I'm probably gonna stick my, my hand inside to help with that because I almost feel like with the pad, um, it's not allowing me, there, that's probably a little bit better. It's not allowing me to really push down, if that makes any sense, because it's squishing. Oh, that's not. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, let's say that. Let me turn this one. No. Okay. I just did it without the Teflon sheet. But it's not allowing me to like really push down in there. Well, with my hand in there now, it gives me more of that stability. Okay, I feel like I'm getting biased. Okay. And I'm just pushing up with my hand. I'm trying to get this corner right here. But. I'll make sure that the mat is right there in that edge. So I can get it. I probably should have moved it a little bit over some. Okay, so now I'm going to take this out and we are going to go from the inside, but I want to be very careful. So let's put this in here and then we are going to do the same thing because it does say to do it from the inside as well. And I do remember that from when I did my jersey or crew neck. That's what they're called, the crew neck. That's the one my daughter's listening. Just take it wrong. Call the wrong thing. I'm like, okay. My bad. Okay. I think I got all the bits. Oh, I was going too low. I was going way down here. And I think it was like right here in this corner. I'm going to let it cool. My hair on my glass mat for a second. It is super hot. I might have heated it up too much. All right, so if I ruin it, you guys will know what not to do. Now, the sticker, it wasn't expensive. It's only $1.99, and if it's on sale, that's a perfect time for you to get it. The pouch is $9.99. Now, I'd have to look at my receipt to tell you guys if it was, if any of these were on sale, because I honestly can't remember. Even though literally, I just went and got it. Now, the inside is extremely hot. I think is nylon. It doesn't say. It also says do not wash. Okay, so let me see. Now this corner is not done. So what I'm gonna do is put this pad back in here, just for this corner, because I knew that corner wasn't gonna be done. I just had the idea that it was gonna be done. So I'm gonna work right here. I'm gonna put my hand right back in there. Just be careful if you do the same thing, that your hand is underneath this cricket pad. I'm just pushing up on it. I'm trying to fix that really quick. I'm definitely going to apply more heat to it. Okay, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I think that worked. Okay. That's fine. I'm just trying to re- What's the word? Reactivate the fuzz. There. That looks lively now. <laughs> All right. Now I probably ruined some of the material, but she won't even care. So what we're going to do now is grab this. Okay. So when we took the shopping spree, it was to get them out the house because we, I was starting to feel like cabin fever. I think I was going to put this right here. We was feeling like cabin fever. Well, at least I was. And I tend not to have cabin fever because I don't mind being at home. Now, see, I'm worried about this. It's like, so it's stuck. And I don't know if I should even really apply any heat to that. I'm going to turn this down some. Um. So we took them, I took them out. 
just for a quick trip. Because like I said, I had ordered the Cricut Extra and I was waiting. It had came in and I hadn't even opened it yet because I had wanted it. I wanted to open it on camera and I was like, okay, well, let's see what we can find at the store. If there aren't any sales and yada, yada. And yeah. And we went a little overboard. And of course my kids bought stuff and they were like, oh, we're gonna pay for this. And then by the time we got to the cash register, they were like, mommy, can you pay for this? Mommy, can you pay for this? And I'll pay for that. And I was like, I thought y'all were gonna pay for your own stuff. Like, why am I paying for y'all stuff? So I'm flipping this over. I'm gonna put this back in here to get this portion in here and do this. Because I'm worried, I don't wanna melt the pearly things. Here. Oh, they're not gonna melt. They're on there. Okay. I am going to add a little more heat down to the bottom from in here though, because this thing is a lot more work than I anticipated it to be. <laughs> the things we do for our loved ones when we're crafting, I feel like. So yeah, when, when we got to the register and I was like, why am I suddenly paying for more than half of the stuff that you guys said you were paying for? Oh, okay. So yeah. So they paid for half and I ended up, my daughter only had half of this and I was like, oh, wow. So how many of you guys get tra uh, um, trapped into that process with your kids? Okay, so I think that's done. I'm going to leave this alone before I ruin it any further. But I think it did come out nice. So I'm gonna zip this back up. And there's that. Oh, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. So she'll put all her feminine whatever stuff in there. And I absolutely love the way this turned out. Now let's go ahead and go on to our next project. All right, so let's go ahead and do our next craft. Well, there's actually our t-shirts. So I'm gonna do, oh, I didn't even put this up. So let's go ahead and pull this up. And when I did my Christmas jersey, I remember I did three, I want to say it was 325. And I think I did, I did 15 seconds. I think for these Chanel letters, I think that's what these are called. I did 15 seconds because I'm believing that you're supposed to do 20 or 30 seconds per side because you're supposed to do the, the front and the back and so on and so forth that's uh, that's what the instructions say right um let's see 30 40 seconds turn oh it says 20 to 25 seconds but what i'm going to do is i'm going to only do half of that so i found my set for my deep set for 15 seconds okay so that's all the noise so i'm going to do if i want to just do the tack on method oh it's already peeling off now this one doesn't have See, this one doesn't have the sticker because this is just pure iron-on, unlike our other one, which was the sticker as well. So I'm going to take this one off out of the packaging. And then make sure that this comes off in one piece. And then let's see. They're both the same size. So I think I can use this one mat. And that's telling me that it is ready to rumble. And actually, I'm gonna grab my bigger mat. I want, I like working on the surface when as much as possible. If I'm okay, now the sh each shirt is a 
little different. I don't know which one is which. Whose belongs to who? I don't remember. I think the gray one's from my oldest child. Okay. So let's do a little pre press. And it's funny because I have not used this press in I don't know how long. And I think this one is no longer available. That's what I was saying in a previous video. This little one, the six by six, they don't make this one anymore. I happened to be on, um, when I was on Cricut the other night, I don't see this one anymore at all. Where's my next roller? Didn't I just see it? Isn't it amazing how when you're working, you have your stuff and now you don't. All right, so you guys know the process. Let's go ahead and just lint roll really quickly. Now I'm trying to go ahead and decide how we're going to lay this, um, a, I think they're Chanel letters, I think they're actually called, but I couldn't decide. So I was trying to decide, well, based on the child that I'm making this shirt for, how I was going to lay the design uh, for it down. So this is what you see me doing. Just enjoy the show. I was just trying to figure it out. And also based, not only based on for the child, but also based on the the color of the shirt, since it's more of a V-neck and the fact that it's more of a crop style shirt. And that's what you see me doing. So when you're doing things like this, just take into consideration those little details. The design, the child, if they're the same thing, because like I said in the early in the video, it's the same design that I'm doing. Um, so this way you can make everything a little bit different for each child, even though it's the same exact design. So that's all you're seeing me do here. And then I'm gonna just grab the thing at um, the heat press and I did it for 350, uh, I think it was 15 seconds. That's kind of what I saw it said for, I think it might've said 20 seconds, but I wasn't sure if it was going to press. And of course, it. I should have waited till it cooled down a little bit more uh, to make sure that it pressed properly before you you flip it over. So just if you're doing the same sticky of Chanel, the um, iron-on stickers, Chanel stickers, just wait before you flip it over. Flip it over, heat press it again, and then you will be good to go. And um, just always remember, you have to always do the inside out process because it, it really sticks the other adhesive part of the Chanel stickers. That's one of the main things that you have to keep in mind with this one. So I really like the way it came out for this one. Now, of course, it's going to get much more funny with my second layout. I wasn't sure if I did it right, um, but it came it, to me, it looked a little wonky. But my daughter didn't even notice. And of course, you guys would know because you saw me doing it. Now let's move on to the next one. This is where it got funny and crazy. You guys will look. Just enjoy the show. So this one's from my middle schooler. I had to pull out the measuring stick to make sure that I got it right. Because my middle schooler is a little more... Um, picky when it comes to her shirt. I don't even know if she's going to wear this to school. She might just wear this to, to sleep. I don't even know. And I didn't really care. She said she would wear it. So here we are measuring it out, laying it out. And since this is more of a standard color crop shirt, I figured I'd just make it more simplified for her. All right. So we're done measuring. We're done making it look cute designing. All right. So this is where it gets crazy. And it would not lay down. It wouldn't do anything. So I had to put my entire body weight on this thing. Like, what is wrong with it? And then I realized, guys, it didn't want to work. So I should have really just used my regular heat press. If you're doing the Chanel iron-ons, and if you have a regular heat press, I really suggest A, you either use a big heat press or B, put it on for, instead of the 15 seconds that I was doing it on, do the 20 to 25 seconds. 
because what ended up happening was that I was doing it for not enough time and not just not enough pressure. So that time and intent that I've always talked to you guys about, that is extremely important when you're doing this designs. So, but I had so much fun doing it, but again, just take your time doing this process. But I had, it was funny watching me go through all this hassle. But again, there you go. All right, guys, we are absolutely done. Thank you for joining me in another craft experience. And we have had one heck of a trip today. I have shown you guys how mistakes and all the things can happen. But this video has shown you how you can take the exact same image and completely change it and adjust it to two different personalities. Now, both of these shirts demonstrate both of my kids very different personalities in and of itself. So I hope you enjoyed the video today and I hope you will subscribe and like my video and subscribe to the channel. Well, as always, thank you so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.